Hey everyone, it's Michael here from GoodDayReader.com. Amazon has done something shocking. They've developed a 10-inch digital note-taking device called the Kindle Scribe. Now, if you're a regular reader of our website, you would know that we've reported on this as early as May of this year that Amazon was developing an eNote at their Lab 126 and they had two different names that they were going to use for it the scribe or the passage. I was more into the name of the scribe because it tells you what it does in, in the name. It's, it's, it's a writing utensil, a writing tool, 300 PPI. No other 10 inch e-reader that is an e-paper screen has had 300 PPI. Generally it's about 217 is about the average or about 227 on the high end. So let's look into what the scribe brings to the table some of the features that we'll have and when you could actually get it in your hands. Let's look into it. The Amazon Scribe will feature an e Ink Carta 1200 e-paper display panel with a Wacom layer and 300 PPI. The screen will be flush with the bezel and protected by a layer of glass. It features the same asymmetrical design as the Kindle Oasis, which a big chunk on one side and the other is easily held in one hand. It's made out of recycled aluminum. There's both a front lit display and color temperature system, so both white and amber LED lights. There's 35 LED lights total, which is the most that Amazon has ever packed inside of an e-ink device ever. Underneath the hood is a 1 GHz MediaTek processor. It's 1 GB of RAM, and there'll be multiple storage versions available. Each one cumulatively costs more money, but there's choice. 16, 32, or 64 gig variants. USB-C charging, in addition to, this is what you would do to send PDF files and documents to your device. Uh, it has a Bluetooth, so you'll be able to listen to audiobooks as well as Wi-Fi. It should list, last up to 12 weeks, but we don't have an idea on what type of battery that they'll having yet, but we'll report this on our website when we hear back from Amazon. So the Kindle Scribe is designed for freehand drawing, jotting down notes, editing PDF files, and editing Kindle books that you purchase from the Kindle store. It basically will annotate any, any digital content that you have on the device, other than newspapers, manga, and magazines. It won't write about that. But their note-taking functionality is called Notebook. There's, very, there's a many templates that are uh, available, such as blank, to-do lists. Uh, there's an all-new fo folder system to keep everything organized. Amazon is working on Kindle App Sync, which will be released in early 2023. Writing on the scribe is done with a stylus. They don't require power or Bluetooth connectivity and use electromagnetic renaissance, renaissance te technology. The stock stylus is a basic one. It can be used for light tasks. However, I would recommend the premium style. Uh, so this will have an eraser functionality and a programmable side button to do various tasks. It's like $30 more. So you know, you're looking to spend maybe about like $45 just for like the more premium stylus. Um, you'll be able to write directly on, on, on PDF files. You'll be able to import and create handwritten sticky notes in Microsoft Word docs and web articles with adjustable fonts, styles, and layout. You can also create handwritten sticky notes in text, PNG, any type of like, uh, you know, graphics file, um, as well, you know, GIFs and things like that, uh, EPUBs as well. Uh, coming in early 2023, you'll be able to send documents to the Kindle Scribe directly through Microsoft Word. So if you have Microsoft Office or Microsoft 365, both for the Mac or PC, you'll be able to actually send documents right to your Kindle through there. That's very exciting. So why did Amazon decide to make a large screen e-note and e-reader? This is very uncharacteristic of them to do something like this. It'll be the first large screen device since the Kindle DX. When I talked to Kevin Keith, the Amazon VP of devices, he said that 
The technology, particularly the screen technology, has finally advanced to a point where the user experience lived up to Amazon's high standards. Amazon could have released a similar product a couple of years ago with the front light, he explained, but that didn't make sense. So here's my thoughts. Amazon's gonna sell a crap ton of these. It's basically going to retail for $340 with a standard stylus or $370 US with the premium stylus. It'll ship out November 30th. Uh, there'll be various cases with stand up, like, you know, the, the quintessential stand up cases. It's a black device, so it's like very Kindle esque that almost all Kindle devices are, are black. I mean, it doesn't have page turn buttons, but it feels and looks like a ledger from all of the pictures and graphics that I saw during the Amazon event earlier today, it looks awesome. I mean, it could do more than a remarkable can when this comes out and more features come out in early 2023. I mean, a company like Amazon has the engineering power to cumulatively make this great. You know, Send a Kindle works right out of the gate, so you'll be able to use Send a Kindle to transfer all these documents right to it via the PC app, via the Kindle app for iOS or Android. You'll be able to utilize the power of the Kindle ecosystem to send documents to your Kindle, to edit and annotate PDFs and you know Kindle docs and stuff, but you'll actually be able to save those notes and export them to your computer so you can like look at them later or uh, view them on the Kindle app. So there's a lot of synergy between the Kindle scribe and the greater Kindle ecosystem. And don't forget, I mean, this is an e-note, but it is a giant e-reader as well. So if you don't wanna use this to take notes, you can simply use it as the largest screen Kindle e-ink e-reader in the world. It's running Linux, it'll be fast and responsive. I mean, it's using the same processor as the Paperweight 5 employees, so it's no slouch, and it has like double the RAM that the Paperweight has just because of the added note-taking functionality. But Carta 1200 will dramatically increase the writing latency, as well as page turns and interacting with the UI and saving files and everything like this. I have a feeling that this is gonna be the gold standard of eNotes and the whole industry is gonna be put on notice now. There's a lot of synergy between Microsoft and, and Kindle now, it's being able to send documents through Microsoft Word. No other, no other device supports things like that. This is very exciting. So what do you think about the Kindle Scribe? Are you gonna buy one? Have you saw any of the news coverage today? Do you think that this is something that's gonna sell like gangbusters? I mean, you look at the price, 370 for the premium stylus versus like the Remarkable, which is like maybe $100 more, like the uh, Onyx Book Note 5, which is almost like $200 more. This is a price point that is very easily within a lot of people's comfort zones. It's hundreds of dollars cheaper than the Kobo Ellipsa. Enough said, I mean, it'll be the cheapest, not, you know, in terms of build quality, it's high, but the most affordable e-note in the world. I wanna hear from you, drop a comment below. If you're good e my name is Michael, and everybody take care.